lot of discussions on renewable energy in India seem to speak of renewables versus coal as if they are direct competition. This is probably a false framing because both have a strong role to play in India's energy portfolio in the coming years. And even trying to compare them is not a simple calculation, an easy economic calculation. When you look at many curves seen in newspapers, they show two sets of curves. One declining prices for renewable energy over time, and the other saying coal is going to become more expensive over time. And these two curves intersect and where they intersect that point is called grid parity. It's under debate whether that has already occurred or not, but that's the general framing many people use that it's just a matter of time before renewables displace coal because they're cheaper. The reality is going to be a little more complicated because of several factors. As you know, renewable energy has very high capital costs and no fuel costs. It's expensive to build, but once built, you use it when you can. Its output is determined not by choice, but by the availability of wind and sun, especially for wind and solar power. Coal plants, on the other hand, have two major cost components. One is capital costs, or fixed costs as they call them, and the other are variable costs, mainly fuel costs. And both of these together become part of the levelized cost of energy, or LCOE, which is a number used to compare different fuel forms against each other. Comparing the LCOE, or levelized cost of energy of RE, with that of coal isn't sufficient because what if you already have the coal power plant built? In fact, this is not a hypothetical situation because in India, between 2011 and 2017, there was a large growth of coal power plant capacity. The compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, was 12.67% while electricity demand only grew at about 6.15%. So there's so-called surplus capacity of coal. Once the coal power plants are built, you have to pay them off, you have to pay the banks, or in fact, what we're seeing today is large risks of non-performing assets for, or stressed assets from the power sector. Another factor that matters, of course, is location because what is the variable cost of coal depends heavily on where you are. A pithead or mine power plant near the mine has very little transport cost, so it's much less expensive than a plant 1,000 or 1,500 kilometers away. The third factor is time, time of day. Electricity being very difficult to store has to be continuously supplied to meet demand at any given time. So in the AC power grid, your supply is also varying to meet the demand. What do you do at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., which is the grid peak demand period? Solar output is effectively zero. So you need something else. The other forms of energy vary, but the backstop or the base for India has always been coal. Putting all of this together, we believe that the future competitiveness of renewables is going to be a phase transition with a ladder of increasing competition. The first step or the easiest for renewables to compete is when you look at just the LCOE versus just the LCOE for new plant versus new plant. Should I build a new coal plant or build new RE? New RE looks cheaper and that's what we're seeing happening today. Now, of course, the caveat is this is only intermittent or opportunistic renewables. It's what's called variable RE or VRE. It doesn't meet your needs at, say, 7 or 8 p.m. necessarily. The next step of this ladder of competition is where we now say renewable energy will displace the output from an existing coal plant. What that means is that you are not paying for the capex incrementally because that plant is either already built or must be built. But now you compare renewable energy's new total costs with the variable or fuel costs of coal. This competition actually depends heavily on location and we are seeing that. In distant locations in India from the coal mines, renewables appear competitive already today at the margin. But for pithead power plant areas, that has not yet happened. The next step in this competition ladder is when you actually start to require storage technologies because you've exhausted the capability of intermittent or variable RE. Now any additional RE has to provide supply at a time period that doesn't match the wind or the sun. So you need storage technologies such as batteries. Today battery technologies are quite expensive and it's a few years away before they become com cost competitive. So your next 
calculation would be to look at the LCOE of renewables with storage, the blended cost, comparing that with coal. So in this storage steps, the first step would be to compare LCOE with LCOE with an, of a new plant, and that's an easier step. The hardest step will actually be when you want to look at renewable energy with storage competing with an existing coal plant where you only have to look at the variable or fuel cost of coal. That will be the hardest rung for renewables to displace coal if we're actually attempting to move away from coal down the future. So these are long steps with many progressions. The good news is we still have a long way to go before we run out of headroom on where renewable energy is cost competitive today. The 175 gigawatt target of the government for just a few years away, 2022, can probably be met without needing storage technologies. However, it's when we go beyond this level of RE. Once the capacity contribution of RE in terms of energy demand crosses, say, 20 or 25 percent, then you will need storage technologies, maybe even sooner. It's at that level that the cost calculations become much more complicated and you're at those higher steps of the ladder of competition. Uh, remains to be seen how this plays out, but it won't be equal across India. All of these technologies will have a role to play and it's going to be a portfolio working together as opposed to a simplified RE is displacing or ending or killing coal.